What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Box and Talk, and I am back with another video. Gonna be a busy day upload-wise from me today, so stay tuned. Keep those notifications on, or get them on if you don't have them on already. But I want to talk about um, two of the top four contenders in the WBC. That is being number one ranked, Dillian White, and number three ranked, Luis Ortiz. Last night, Luis Ortiz returned to defeat Christian Hammer via unanimous decision over a 10-round fight. Um, he's 31 and one uh, with 26 knockouts. He did what he's supposed to do last night. Um, he handled Hammer with ease, and after that, he called out Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua for fights. We know that he was stopped by Wilder last March uh, in his first world title opportunity as a professional fighter. In the tenth round, let's say, let's talk about this, this in this video. We're gonna remove Wilder and Joshua for right now. We'll get back to Wilder later. But Dillian White is returning to the ring July 13th. I'll post a link for ThreeKingsBoxing.com in the description box down below, so you check it out for yourself. We reported that yesterday, and he's gonna be fighting in London. You know, we know he was supposed to fight April 13th, or he was in negotiations to fight Anthony Joshua in a rematch April 13th, but those negotiations fell through, which pushed White's return a week later to April 20th. But also, that return date fell through, and now they pushed it back a few months to July 13th, where um, his opponent has yet to be announced. But I know that White and Luis Ortiz has traded words throughout the years um, about a potential fight. And it makes sense. It makes sense because it's looking like the number four rated uh, WBC heavyweight uh, you know, contender, Dominic Brazil, who is the mandatory, is likely to get that shot at Wilder on May 18th. So that takes him out. He's number four. Tyson Fury is not going to fight Wilder in an immediate rematch. That takes him out on... Um, as well, and he's not going to fight Ortiz or White in his next fight. Fury is, you know, he's with uh, top rank now, so he's going to be fighting on ESPN. So that takes him out of the picture right now. So that leads me to believe that White versus Ortiz should be um, for the mandatory, uh, assuming that Dominic Brazil, you know, gets his shot finally at Wilder and fights him May 18th. You know, that Fury, that Fury Wilder rematch will always be there. Mauricio Suleiman will always be able to make that fight happen um, if both guys want to make that fight happen. But Eddie Hearn has already stated that he's trying to push, you know, White um, next fight for him to be the mandatory if he's victorious. And a big fight for him, which would be dangerous, but still a winnable fight in my opinion, would be him versus Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz wants to fight the champions. But if he can't fight the champions, I'm pretty sure he would love to fight a Usyk. He would love to fight a Pavekin. He would love to fight a White. He would love to fight a Parker. He would love to fight a Fury. So, White Ortiz is a logical fight in my in my opinion, is a logical fight. A fight I would love to see. Both guys possess one punch um KO power. Both guys uh have solid chins. Both guys have been knocked out once throughout their career. Both guys have been in terrific fights um, with current heavyweight champions. And I think that these guys uh, will make for an excellent fight. And I think that it will put them right back in the thick of things, um, especially Ortiz, if he can defeat White, if this fight happens. You know, the winner would be the mandatory. That means Wilder would have to fight them. He might not fight them next, depending on the situation with Fury or if Anthony Joshua and his team come to a table, come to the table with a, a realistic deal that uh, satisfies, you know, Wilder and his people, you know, but even if all that happened, they would still be waiting in line as the mandatory to whoever is the WBC heavyweight champion when the time finally comes that they have, that they have to make a mandatory title defense. It's the most logical fight. They both guys can make good money. Over in the UK, they love Dillian White. You know, Ortiz isn't, um, you know, unknown over there. He's fought over there multiple times. Uh, and it's an even matchup, in my opinion. And more so, I lean towards Ortiz uh, slightly 55, um, 45, 60, 40 um, in his favor to win. 
But this is a damn good matchup that would be excellent. And I think that it would be a fight of the year type fight. We seen what White and Chajor did twice when they fought each other. We seen what Ortiz and, and um, Wilder gave us last year. So these guys um, are accustomed to being in, in you know action packed fights. And like I said, they possess power. They're higher in the rankings, um, and pretty much things could kind of fall fall in their favor if they play their cards right. And if everybody else continue to fuck up and act like they don't want to fight each other, Ortiz could slip in there. Fight Dillian White July 13th in London. The winner of that fight become the new mandatory to Wilder, which I'm assuming he will get past Dominic Brazil uh, when they do fight May 18th. Um, so I think that's a great fight between before these two for these two guys. Um, it keeps them relevant. It keeps them fighting um, a big name guy in a division that fans know. Um, hell, evil even casual fans. We'll know these guys, um, you know, because they've both been linked to or and are linked to Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, Joshua respectively. So those are my thoughts, man. I'd love to see a Dillian White versus Lewis Ortiz matchup July 13th in London. Drop your comments in the comment section down below giving me your thoughts on this, uh, this video. Do you like that uh, fight? Do you think these two should face each other for the right to become a mandatory um, title uh, challenger to uh, Deontay Wilder. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you enjoy the content throughout the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And also, turn the notifications on to be notified every time I upload content. Until next time, I am out. Peace.